Hello everybody, welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. I am Denrick and I'm excited to share what we did in between the episode. Really, it wasn't that anything too crazy, so don't get, you know, your hopes up. But uh, we did change all of our pricing and we're going to try something. So we're, we're going to actually try a couple of things, but let's uh, go over that. And while we open up the store, we're going to get right to it. So we've made everything in even numbers. So everything ends with either a Z. Well, OK, let me rephrase that. Everything's not an even number. Any everything ends with either a zero or a five. So that's gonna speed up chain, making change at the, at the registers. We've also did about a seven to 8% markup on everything's uh, market price. And I wanna see how our customers react to that because we gotta make some money. We, like, we gotta be able to do everything that we wanna do here in the supermarket. And it uh, looks like he's buying some salt. So uh, first item, salt and our uh, flour for our, our uh, new items are going to be coming off the shelf here. And we're going to make uh, very, very close attention to what uh, we end up selling today. Uh, yeah, so now 15.3, just an even number that uh, is nice and ends in a zero or a five. $40. Boom. Send. Oh, that's a Big box of spaghetti. $13.55 is what we owe. So 10, 1, 2, and 3, and 55. And here we go. 25.6. Boom. And I think that's going to work pretty nicely for us, um, being able to have our item prices end on either a zero or a five, I, I think will be very beneficial. It'll speed things up. And, you know, maybe one day we'll actually adjust it a little bit more and have all zeros. That would be even better, right? But we'll see how this is. So far, no complaints. And really in the last episode was when I kind of thought uh, we had coffee or something that was marked... Uh, that we never adjusted when the market price went down and nobody said anything and we were selling coffee because it was uh, we had to restock it so it wasn't like we weren't selling the item just nobody was saying anything nobody was complaining so i think we have a little bit of wiggle room on our pricing and uh, if we do that'll be really nice because we can do exactly that we can charge a little bit more make some money a little bit quicker and uh, there we go. I've also found out that uh, you can, and, and this was actually just in this episode I found that out, that we can, um, we don't have to do, so when it's a zero on the credit card, we don't have to do anything at the end. We don't have to type in that zero. So like, we can just go 17.95. This one we had to type out, but if it was 17.9, I could have just did, like if it was $17.90, I could have just did 17.9. And it takes it. It doesn't. It doesn't complain. And I was a little concerned that it would uh, complain. So, looking at our stock, we're gonna uh, order some powdered sugar. And I knew we would have some of that today, to where like we we're really gonna have to keep very close um, attention, and pay very close attention to what people are buying, because I don't want to run out of items. And we did not have a ton of money to start this day. So like, we have to make do with uh, what we have. $9.05 is their change. There we go. Let's go ahead and get her checked out. Credit card, this one, 32.3. There we go. Boom. Uh, we're doing good on eggs, but we need milk. So we're going to order milk. And stock that real quick. And I'll just throw that box down. And 34.2. Uh, there we go. 
and today we are going to look like I I am expecting us to have uh, finished this day with um, very little cash. Nowhere near what we had before. I could be wrong because we do have a couple of higher value items now. But I just, I, I don't think we will. Especially when we have very low stocks. See, like we're already starting to run out of rice and spaghetti. Um, we're already running into some stuff, but we are almost through. I mean, kind of almost through with the day, right? Ten cents. Nobody's complaining about pricing. Let's go ahead and order uh, some more peanut butter, rice, and pasta. And I'm trying to keep those stocked too, so like that is playing a huge role into what we are doing today. Uh, let me try and stock some of this up. Oh, we have so many customers. Okay, I'm sorry. Good, they're all card. Seven point five. Thank you. Twelve point three five. There we go. Whew, I think I think we're gonna be okay for today. We're gonna finish with a very low amount of money. I I don't like that. Uh, but it is what it is. We knew that it was gonna be a little rough as we expanded our um, product offerings. Oh. Sorry about the pennies. But we didn't run out of anything today. Came close on a couple of things, but I think we're good. And uh, we'll be able to restock tomorrow. And we're going to skip out on our bills, I think, again tomorrow. As we expand the supermarket here. We are up to level 9, which I'm very happy about. Uh, we do need to get up to level 10 to be able to hire a cashier, which will give me time to do all kinds of good stuff. Uh, 4960. There we go. Ooh, a couple of big purchases to end the day. I will take it. He doesn't owe any change. And I think that is going to be our last customers of the day. We will keep it open for a couple of minutes. Did I run out? So no, one, two, three, four, five, right? There was five new products. We didn't run out anything, um, but we did sell quite a few things. Mm, what is this? What is this product? Oh, this is peanut butter. Okay. All right, let's throw that one there. And that is gonna end our day. So day nine, we finish with a net loss of 243.76. Again, I, I think I'm okay with that because if you take into account our upgrade costs, you add that there, we would have made about four hundred dollars. So, like, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, everything has also went up. So, black tea, cheese, water, and coffee have all went up in pricing. Let's see where we're at. So now it's six eighty five for tea. Um, so let's go ahead and set that price to like seven thirty five. 
And what was it? Coffee? Coffee is going to be... Uh, let's set that to like 1260. And was it water? I think it was water. Water went up to 305. Let's set that to like 330. Uh, so slight increase to those. I'm uh, happy with that. Let's go ahead and uh, see what all we need to order for the day and if we can afford it. So I know we need oil. I know we need pasta. Um, we need bread. We need bread. Where's our sliced bread? Sliced bread. Uh, flour, I think we're going to take a chance on. We need the olive oil and salt. So, olive oil and salt. What am I missing here? So we have oil, rice, spaghetti. The other flour. And I think I want to think about kind of reorganizing a couple of things. Um, I think we're good on... The only problem is the boxes are going to be a pain. But like, I would like to do the oil and the olive oil all on one shelf. And I think we would be okay with doing that. Let's, let's order this, and then we're going to kind of see what we can mess around with and uh, what we still need to order. I love how these boxes fall every single time. Um, I really want... Yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a problem for us. Let's pull up this oil. I think I think we work towards that maybe. We move the olive oil up there. Coffee. Probably need to order some more tea. Don't order tea, though. Let's move the rice down here. I want to be a little bit thoughtful of how we're doing. Maybe we're not doing this. No, see, I kind of think that this flower should be here. Or no, this is pasta, right? Yeah, this is pasta. So our pasta... should all be down here. This is our bread. Bread can stay up here. That's been doing a decent job for us. And we're going to take just a, a few more moments here to stack this up. We got our oil here. Um, I guess we can throw some oil there too. I think that'll be okay. Uh, salt. 
we will stack our salt box over here. Wait, um, cancel. Let's close the box and then drop it because this is acting as like a makeshift storage. Same thing with this. Let's go ahead and close that box and we'll drop it nicely here. This is our new flower. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't think that one through very well. I really did not think that one through very well. All right, that'll have to do. We'll uh, we'll continue to adjust those. Uh, let's go ahead and order milk, water, and eggs. Milk, water, and eggs, and cheese. I don't think. Yeah, let's order some more cheese too. And then we're gonna go ahead and stock that up, and we're gonna start that day, and we're gonna see uh, how we're doing. So this is our cheese. Uh, where do we want to put... I guess we can throw those cheeses down there. This is our water. Um, throw that down there. We have some eggs. Throw that carton over there, and we have our milk. Ah. Yeah, that'll work too. All right, let's go ahead and open our store. And we're going to see how we do. So we have two, so we're... I think I think we're okay. I do want to get to a point where we can, we need another set of shelves because that would allow us to have two shelves for every item, and uh, I, I think that's kind of the direction that I want to go in. Except for dairy, I think I think the 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 fridge stuff. I would actually like to just have another side like a uh, double fridge. That way we can have uh, four shelves of milk, four shelves of eggs, four shelves of cheese, four shelves of water. Um, and then maybe we can get rid of the, the smaller one. So what do we got over here? Tea and peanut butter. Or excuse me, salt and peanut butter. What do I think we're going to need more of today? I think we're going to need more right. I think we're going to need more tea. So we're going to go ahead and put that onto our cart. Spaghetti seems to be going pretty quickly too. Uh, no change to him. So I think we're going to order some tea and some spaghetti. I owe him 75 cents. And peanut butter. So tea, spaghetti, and peanut butter. Let's go ahead and order those. Do you like that it's quick delivery? Forty-eight ninety-five. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the spaghetti. Really, the spaghetti is what I needed stocked. But now I have two cases of peanut butter.
All right, we're getting a line here, so let's get them checked out. 41.5. As we keep uh, as we keep adding items, I, I feel like like we're getting more customers every day. Maybe I maybe not though. I really haven't paid attention to our overall customer numbers. Twelve fifty five, there we go. Uh coffee's good, bread's good. I think we're good on everything. The the pasta may become an issue. But we're gonna see if we can get through the day without having to order any more supply. Thirty-one point three, and I say, like, you know, I act as if uh, like we're able to just once we hire a cashier, like we're done, and and that's not going to be the case because obviously we're going to hire a cashier, and then we're going to need another cashier. Yeah, I might need to order pasta. I think I'm going to go ahead and just. Do it. It's only six dollars. And I really don't want to run out. Thirty-four point nine. Ooh, that was way off. Thirty thirty-four point nine. That's it. Everything gets rounded to a dollar. Forty point two. Oh, her sixty cents. There you go. Let's go ahead and turn on the light. Um. Yeah, we're still good on pasta. Probably didn't need to do it. It's only six bucks, so it's not like. Uh, not like it's gonna kill us right let's go ahead and stock that up love when they pay with the right change that is the one thing with cash that I'm starting to like like when they give the exact change yes please give it again another one with the exact change now oil is a problem Oil is going to be a problem. I don't have oil. Uh, uh, bum, 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 olive oil purchase. And that is a high value item, so. I owe her 42.10. And I gotta stop for a second and put some more oil out. All right. And we got a little bit of a line, so we'll go ahead and get these folks checked out. I think we're going to break um, $1,000 today. So we are doing something right. Seven point five. There we go. Oh, we're out of peanut butter. I actually have peanut butter, though. That hurts a little bit. Because I had peanut butter. Like, I had it. I just didn't have time to stock it. Please don't be mad. It's there. You can go get it. It's restocked. Yep, there's the person that wanted peanut butter. Darn it. No change due. 
almost ran out of cereal too. I think we have to get a stock room. Like I think I think we are at the point. We have one thousand two hundred eighty six dollars and sixty one cents. We've we've got to be able to stock stuff. Let's go ahead and pay our bills because I know we have bills to pay. So we're gonna pay that one. We're gonna pay that one, and we're gonna pay that. We're gonna pay all of our loan payments. Uh, we're not gonna buy a product license. We're gonna go into here, make sure that we don't have any bills that are gonna be due. So we're gonna finish the day one thousand one twenty one thirty two. Uh, we served 35 customers, one product not found, so technically 36 customers. I don't think that's fair, though, because we only had 35 customers. Eh, never mind. All right, so we made a profit of 718.10. Peanut butter and powdered sugar have went up in price. Coffee has went down in price. Ooh, that's a nice increase there. So uh, let's go ahead and set the new price there. Oh, uh, let's do like seven fifty on powdered sugar. That's some expensive powdered sugar. And then uh, peanut butter went down five fifty eight. Let's go ahead and charge. Uh, this is gonna sound weird. Or no, it, I'm sorry, it didn't. It did not. We're gonna charge six dollars. What was the other thing that went? I don't I don't remember the other thing that changed. I wish I could see something went down. Was it coffee? Yeah, cuz we're going to have to change cup. We're going to bring coffee down to like $11 even. Still making a nice profit, but not uh, charging as much. All right, this is where we got to think about some stuff. I'm actually going to hold that one. So just drop that there. I think we're going to order another shelf. Yeah, we're going to order another shelf. So let's go to furniture, let's go to shelf, and let's go ahead and purchase that. Let's go to products, and we are basically going to buy one of everything. Three, six, nine, so we stop at eggs, milk. And purchase. And where's my shelf? There's my sick shelf. I want the shelf first, please. Oh, I can't fit that there. Mmm. 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 I don't like that. All right, we're going to have to move this over. And we're going to have to move this over. Uh, and then can we fit the shelf? Mm, I don't like that. I really don't like that. I wanted to put another shelf right there. All right, that's fine. That's fine for now. That's fine for now. All right, so I want our flowers to be by each other. Uh, that's our bread. I'll go ahead and stock up some bread. Uh, bum bum. And the pasta should be by each other. Okay. 
Um, let's continue doing this. So we got water. I'm not really worried about that stuff right now. Uh, powdered sugar. We'll go ahead and stock that. Oh, can I use this box to do? I think I can. Nope. Nope. But it will take this. Okay. Okay. Actually, I got to think about this now. I think our pasta is going to go back here. Yeah, I think our pasta is going to go back here. Milk, let's just go ahead and stack that up there. We have some tea. Uh, we have our cereal. And let's see, we have our... This is our other pasta. Which is kind of what I was waiting for. And then this flower can go here. This is our olive oil. Right by the other oil where I want it. This is our rice. Rice is going to come back here. Um, this is our cheese. This is our eggs. This is our coffee. Oh, I, and finally with the second shelf here, we will be able to go back to one of everything. Or excuse me, two shelves filled with everything, which is absolutely what I wanted to do. This is an empty box. Let's get rid of it. This is our peanut butter. Um, peanut butter needs to go up here. But I need to move our salt first. And then I think we are going to end up with one extra shelf if, if my math is right. one or two extra shelves, two extra shelves. All right, so let's see what we still got to order. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, stock everything up, make our orders, and we will be back in just a second. All right, everybody. So we have stocked the shelves uh, we did just kind of pick a couple of things to put uh, down at the bottom here. Uh, we left this one blank, so if we see that an item's going really, really hot, uh, we can come over here, grab something, and throw it on there. Uh, but we are almost to where I want to be. So I think we have spent a ton of money, so we're down to $87.23. So we are going to end the episode here. I know we're leaving you kind of on a cliffhanger. We just got that level 10. So what does that mean? We get to hire our first cashier, which we are going to do. Oh, I can't do that. It won't let me hire him. Oh, because I have to have $100. Darn it. So in the next episode, we will hire our first cashier and see how the day with almost fully stocked everything goes. Uh, we are going to look into getting storage as well. That's going to be our next major milestone. And then we want to get some more products. We want to expand the store. So we're going to be looking into doing that as well. I'm Denrick, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss what's next. Goodbye for now.